Well, hello, well, welcome to Raccoon Point Studios. I'm Sean Bombs, and I'm here with a quick tip for Pro Tools users using SSL's uh, UF8 or the UF1. And this is about channel selection, so you know that if you have this, you click on the channel in Pro Tools, and uh, it doesn't change anything on the UF8. So you would have to do a key command for that to work, and that would be Shift Control, and then click on the channel. But um, if you have something like this Kensington um, mouse or scroll wheel that's programmable or any kind of scroll wheel thingy with buttons and all that stuff, then you can do this. So what I've done is I programmed a two button hit right here to mimic the control shift click. And it's cool because, you know, it's clicking. I just go to the track and I can click, boom. And you see what I just clicked on showed up on the track, uh, on the uh, UF8. And it also showed up on the UF1. Same thing, I hit this, boom, look it. Now I have this delay um, showing up and you see on the screen, it is V del, v, you know, whatever. Vocal delay, that's what that stands for. And then, you know, if I wanna come back over to here to the beginning, kick print, boom, I'm double clicking. Now I could have programmed any of these to do that um, for a double click type of thing, but I have this set up for my groups. So I turn on, if you look on the screen, my groups on and off, which makes things very quick for me when I wanna make an adjustment to one little thing, or then I wanna do all of them at once. I can click on and off, it might be even for editing purposes as well. Just to show you how I did it, if you have the Kensington or whatever your software is, you just can go in and look, I highlighted this, it shows me that I can do those two. Um, or if I come down here, I could do those two, go up there, I could have made it up here, and I might make it up here because that might be easier. I feel like the left side might be a little bit less intuitive. Um, I don't know, uh, I might just get used to it. I just literally put this together. But if you go over here, say you have, you know, at least the Kensington works, you just click on here, and then it's gonna give you all these different things that you can do. And I just go to mouse and keyboard, and uh, for this, I hit middle click and shift control. You pick the application that this is for. That's what I did. Boom. I just wanted to share that with people, anybody that's using uh, the SSL UF8 or UF1 and you struggle in Pro Tools or whatnot, changing the channels and all that stuff. And you have a expert mouse like this or some other kind of uh, programmable mouse this might uh, be beneficial to you so if it helped you out hit the like button so other people see it subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one bye bye